Good morning, good morning, everybody. Day three, 21 days of prayer and fasting, January 11th. It is 5 a.m. Good morning, good morning. Uh, glad to have you with us. Thank you for so many of you that are participating with us. So good morning, good morning. Uh, Joel, you're the first name I see again. Good morning, sir. Uh, glad to have you with us. Uh, as people are coming on, uh, so, so thankful. Good morning, Miss Shirley. For all of you who are participating, Tim, see you guys there. Um, good morning, Miss Melanie. Glad to have you as well. So many uh, of you guys participating. Denise, good to see you. Miss Misty, good morning. Uh, glad to have all of you guys with us this morning. Uh, over, we, we figured when we figured the numbers, uh, over 100 people participated with 5 a.m. prayer on Monday morning. Um, and so, wow, uh, pretty amazing. Thank you for all of you who are uh, being diligent with this. And, uh, you know, I, it's like I said on Sunday, I just think there's something powerful. Uh, it says something to God when we do something that hurts, right? When we do something that's a struggle, when we get up, we're trying to focus, and uh, but we're saying to him, I want to give you the first of my day. Good morning, Miss Sandy. Good, glad to have you. Uh, good morning, Sandrika. Glad to have you as well, Miss Alana. Um, wow, great to see so many of you guys uh, this morning. Uh, two things I want to uh, give you real quick as, as people are still coming on. Again, if you don't have a journal, uh, just for those of you who are maybe first time on with us, we have a journal that's available to you digitally on our website, cotlakes.com. Uh, good morning, Gavin. I see you guys there. Red, Carrie, uh, Miss Lynn, I'm sure Mike as well. Uh, wow, uh, great to have all of you guys with us. Uh, but we do have a journal. Um, that is on our website, cotlakes.com, under resources, and it says 21 days of prayer and fasting. You can download the journal I'll refer to uh, each day and that we're using to walk through this. Good morning, Stephen. Good to see you. Ashley, glad to have you guys with us as well. Uh, one other thing that I mentioned uh, before I get into this morning, and that is prayer partners. One of the things that we thought would uh, we've never done before, uh, but we really think it would be amazing um, for the last two weeks, so starting this Sunday, is we'd like for you to have a prayer partner of a different generation. You know, one of the focuses we feel called as a church to really focus on is our six different generations and how we interact. And the church is the last place that all the generations get together. And so we want to foster that. We want to foster relationships. Uh, can I say this to you? Uh, whoever you are, someone younger than you needs your experience. Um, you know, someone, uh, young people, you need somebody older to give you some godly uh, advice, wisdom, or maybe just say, here's what not to do. Uh, come on, y'all. How many of y'all are, uh, some of your, your testimony is what not to do, uh, right? So uh, just uh, want to encourage you to do that. How, how are we going to do that? Well, our youth group, our young people, we're going to orchestrate that because you can imagine we want the safety of who our kids are with. And in this day and age, you got to be careful. But here's the other thing. Many of you have said, how do I get a prayer partner? How do I get a prayer partner? We're going to specifically. Now, for you introverts, I know I'm pushing you. I'm pushing you. Forgive me, right? But here's what I, wa I want you to do is uh, this Sunday, if you don't have a prayer partner yet, if you haven't been able to find anyone yet, then we're going to specifically during the meet and greet, we're going to encourage you to be bold enough to find somebody during meet and greet and ask if they would be your prayer partner for the last two weeks. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to put that on you to, to be courageous and to reach out. Um, and I know for some people, uh, the whole, you know, the whole meet and greet time, the whole getting up and do, I know it's a little scary for some people who are introverted, but I just want to push you uh, because the family of God has to be the family of God. And so, um, yeah, let's let's do that. All right, so we're going to find some prayer partners um, in that process. All right, I, I, and uh, so today, uh, wow, uh, my head's about to explode. I have honestly spent a lot of time right here this morning just on my knees um, listening to worship music and, um, and, and just, um, after yesterday, you know, yesterday we spent some time humbling ourselves. We, we spent some time in repentance. Uh, we spent some time dealing with our stuff. Uh, the only thing that follows that is worship. Uh, once we realize, uh, yeah, I've got all this stuff and, and man, I'm Mike minus Jesus is not good. Right. Um, the, there are, our only response is a gratitude to a God who forgives, 
uh, to Jesus who leaves perfection of heaven and comes to this crazy world to die for us. So today, I just want to proclaim today to be a day of worship. Um, I want you to focus today on on worship, um, on on how we can 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 give Him uh, glory, how we can thank Him for even the trials. It says, "Rejoice in the trials," right? Because we're going to be built into perseverance, people who overcome. So, the scripture in your journal today. There's two. Psalm one eleven one says, "Praise the Lord." I will extol the Lord with all my heart in the counsel of up, the upright and in the assembly. Psalm 27, 8, my heart says to you, seek his face, your face, Lord, I will seek. And today we're going to seek him by worshiping him. We're going to seek him by taking all day long, every opportunity that I can. We're going to thank him. We're going to have a, a, an attitude of gratitude. Uh, we're going to focus on how can I say thank you, God, for this? How can I say thank you, God, for that? Um, how can I give you worship the whole time? So here's what I want to give you real quick this morning. For you note takers, I'm about to give you a whole bunch of information. So if you want to grab a, a, a pen or something, and you may not be able to write this down, you may have to come back and watch the video again. That's okay. But I'm going to give you really, really fast in our short amount of time that we have, I want to give you eight things uh, that praise can do. Eight things that praise can do. Okay, so a few, few ideas of, of what praise can do this morning. Number one, praise gets our focus off of ourself and back on God. Uh, in our often selfie focused world, we need to consist. We need a consistent reminder that life is just not about us. Come on, somebody. Psalm thirty five twenty eight, and my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and your praise all the day long. That's our goal today. We're going to make it a day of worship. Second thing praise can do. Praise brings us to a place of humility. We remember our dependency on God as we acknowledge our need for him. Psalm 95, 2 and 3, let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with a song of praise, for the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. Amen. Amen. Number three that praise can do. Praise makes the enemy flee. Uh, evil will not stick around if you're praising God because uh, he fights our battles for us. And the story of Jehoshaphat, you remember the story? Uh, we see God's miraculous defeat of the enemy because of the people's obedience to praise him. Second Chronicles 20, 22, you ready? As they begin to sing in praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and, and Moab and Mount Seir who were invading Judah, and they were defeated. I just want to give you this today. Some of you got some battles you're going to walk in today. I wonder if praise won't set that battle to the right place. I won't. I wonder if praise doesn't set your heart and mind in the right place and invite God into that situation um, that he might fight your battle. We sing the song, uh, we sang the song Sunday, this is how I fight my battles. All right, well, let's fight our battles today with praise. Let's fight our battles today with thanksgiving. Let's let's fight our battle. Man, put some worship music on uh, at the office. Put worship music on in your car. Spend some time after this. Man, let's just... As, as as God receives praise, uh, I just get this picture of a little grin that 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 cracks on his face. You know this this little just kind of almost sheepish grin as he's like, "Yeah, this is what it's all about. I just want relationship with you." Okay, I gotta keep moving. Number four, praise leaves no room for complaining or negativity. Sometimes, even within our prayers, come on, y'all, we can tend to complain about our problems. God knows our heart, right? And he cares about all our concerns. But through praise, we're focused on him no longer allowing too much attention to be centered on our struggles. Uh, your, your struggles are going to yell loud anyway. You don't need to give them more any more focus than they're going to try to take. Psalm 103, 2 through 4, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. Number five, praise makes room for God's blessing and favor in our life. Praise makes room for God's blessing and favor in our life. Psalm 100, Verse four, 
Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Number six, praise invites his presence. God dwells close to us when we praise him. He lives there. He looks for it. Psalm 22 and 3, he inhabits the praises of his people. What is on the agenda today that is is the worst thing on your agenda today? What's the one thing today that you're not looking forward to? Can I say to you, walking into that situation as much as you can in that situation, praise. Praise. God, you're walking into that meeting, walking into that that confrontation today, whatever it is, uh, let's surround it with praise because God inhabits the praise of his people. Number seven, our spirits are refreshed and renewed in his presence. There's nothing like the presence of God. Come on, y'all. We're strengthened by his peace and refueled by his joy. Psalm 1611, in his presence, there is fullness of joy. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. As we praise, he inhabits our praise. His presence brings joy. Psalm 63, three and four, because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live. And in your name, I will lift up my hands. Man, number eight, Worship and praise, it paves the way for God's power to be displayed and for miracles to happen. I believe that. You believe miracles still happen? I believe miracles still happen. I absolutely believe that. People's lives are affected and changed. God shakes things up through praise. Uh, As Paul and Silas sat in a prison, come on, shackled and chained, and they kept right on praising God, right? Acts 16 and 25, about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the prisoners were listening to them, and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. Anybody want the the foundation of the mess going on at your office to be shaken today? Uh, It might happen if you praise. It it, it might happen if you focus on giving God the glory that he is due today. You need some shaking going on in your relationships, then praise. You need some shaking going on in your house, in your neighborhood. If we want to see shaking going on in this community, it'll be because we are people who praise and give him the glory that his name is due. Amen? Man, we have a choice today. To live life absorbed in worry and stress, on the fast track of busy, focused on all that surrounds us, tuned into the roar of this world. Or we can ask God to help us take our eyes off of all that is swirling around us, our problems, our messes, our mistakes, or the voices of others, and we can look up to him, the one who holds it all together and who holds us in the palm of his hand. So today, let us praise. Today, let us give him what he is due and let him do what he's going to do with today. I promise you, you spend time giving him what he's due today and uh, he'll take care of the rest. Amen. Today, let us give him the praise he's due. So as I pray for you and get off, I encourage you, reflect on this in your journal a little bit. But man, find some worship music today. I've linked another song today for you that I was listening to a few minutes ago. Christ Be Magnified is the name of the song. Um, So when you get off this, hit that. Listen for a few minutes. Man, let's set our minds today and our hearts today on worshiping the one who is due anything we have. Man, we, we, we would give so much effort today to worry. We would give so much effort today to stress. But when we give that effort to him, Man, he will inhabit the praises of his people. We will see the miraculous. We will see things change. Uh, Let's give him today. Church is a day of worship. Amen. Father, we worship you today. We settle our souls. We calm down from the busyness and the mess and the strife and the struggle. And we say, you are worthy of our worship. You are worthy of our time. You are worthy for us to take a few moments out of our task list to come back to a place where we acknowledge and put you back on your throne, sovereign and in control of all things. 
So today, as we worship you, would you inhabit the praises of your people? Today, as we worship you, would you help us to see things shaken, things moved, uh, things overcome? We just ask it and pray it in the holy name of Jesus. And all God's people said, amen, amen. Man, I love you guys. Let's worship today and see what God might do on this amazing day, January 11th, 2023. It's going to be a great day if you give him the worship he's due. I'll see you tomorrow morning.